Hey guys, welcome to my channel here, Liciously. Um, today I wanted to do a video on my journey towards trying to grow a beard. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm Asian and the majority of Asians cannot grow beards. And so what I wanted to do was I wanted to do an experiment using Minoxidil 5%. This is the one that I use. I got it from Walmart. It's a one month supply for about 10 to $12. Um, you guys can find a better deal with Kirkland's brand, the brand from Costco. If you guys go to uh, Amazon, I do know that they sell their six month supply for around $50. But for now, I just wanted to use this one month supply of Minoxidil onto the beard. Um, I'm already using this for my hairline so that I can stop further hair loss. And it's been doing a really good job. But I also do use it with, uh, with uh, thermal rolling. And so what I wanted to do was I wanted to do this journey uh, to see if I can actually grow a beard. Now, here's how my beard looks like. This is actually about two days since I've last shaved. Um, I don't have any sideburns. There's literally, literally no hairs that are growing across my face. Um, I do have some hair here. And then, as you guys can see on my chin, there's some hairs growing down there. Same thing with the right side of my face. There's no hairs. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you guys how I apply it and what I plan on doing with the dermal roller. So what I want to do is I want to use Minoxidil 5% twice a day and then every other day I want to do dermal rolling. So let me show you guys how to put on this Minoxidil. Comes with this little dropper. So you want to get about one milliliter of Minoxidil solution right there. And then you want to put it on your face, like so, and then just kind of like rub it in. So I did this the same thing this morning. Just all across where you want your beard. Now I've seen some pretty cool videos on YouTube on Asian guys using Minoxidil to grow a beard. And some of them have been pretty uh, remarkable while others don't really see any results. So, you know, I've, I've always wanted a beard. I think that when it comes to beards, it just makes a guy much more masculine. So, I mean, I don't know how this journey is gonna, gonna be like, but I'm gonna do it for a few months and then see if I can get any progress out of it. Now, you might experience some of the side effects, um, which includes dry skin, uh, irritation. Some people talk about getting um, irregular heartbeats. But so far, I mean, for my scalp, I haven't had any issues with that. So I'm guessing for minoxidil, I probably wouldn't be experiencing anything like that either. Um, but that's pretty much it. Just do that twice a day. And then on the days that I do my thermal rolling, um, you don't want to use minoxidil on the days that you do thermal rolling, and if you do, you want to just limit it to just one day, but you want to wait at least 12 hours before you do the thermal rolling. So here's my thermal roller. If you guys are interested, um, you guys can get this on my website. I'm going to be posting up the link, but this has really been very beneficial when it comes to treating hair loss. Um, as you guys can see, I've been growing my hair quite a bit, and it's almost been a year since I've had my hair transplant, and so far, I haven't had any further recessions because I've been using minoxidil, I've been using thermal rolling, and I've had really good results. So here's the hair, it's been pretty long, it's been about a month and a half since I last got my hair cut. Um, but I do plan on keeping it long and just growing it out and then end up just, uh, hopefully grow it about an inch or two more, and then do some type of um, semi-perm. As far as the thermal rolling, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using this every other day on beard areas, just, uh, you know, just rolling it to stimulate hair growth and to build up more collagen. Here's how it looks, just let it dry for a little bit. But like I said, it's really easy to use. Um, it only literally takes about two, three minutes just to put it on. Um, normally I put it, when I do put it on at nighttime, I do it right before I go to sleep. And then the following day when I wake up in the morning, I take a shower and then I apply it and then I go to work. And it dries up pretty quickly. So you don't have to worry about any uh, any odors or anything like that with minoxidil. It's unscented, but it just smells like alcohol. That's pretty much what it is. Um, but once it dries up, you guys shouldn't have any issues. So here's how it looks. I'm gonna be doing this for a few months, uh, like I said, so please feel to uh, check out my progress and then hopefully I'm gonna get some good gains. 
But if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you ever to subscribe, like this video. And uh, yeah, so wish me luck on my uh, journey to growing my Asian beard. Um, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we'll see. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.